We're in a situation right now where our public health authorities, our experts, and common sense tells us we need to continue to limit our movements, we need to continue to work from home, we need to continue to do everything we can to ensure uh, that people are kept safe from further spread of this pandemic. Uh, that's why it would be irresponsible for the House of Commons to resume tomorrow as scheduled on April 20th. Uh, with 338 MPs, their staff, uh, support staff in the House of Commons, security, people coming in from across the country at this particular point. We have proposed, uh, and it's been accepted by, uh, largely accepted by uh, the other opposition parties, that uh, we should have accountability measures. We should have parliament that functions, but we have to do it responsibly. All parties have agreed several times that parliament will reopen tomorrow. The question now is how best to do that. Negotiations are still ongoing. I remain hopeful that the government will agree to our common sense proposal to continue to hold in-person sittings. We believe these sittings should happen three times each week. Parliament must remain open so that we can improve government programs and policies and get better results for Canadians. I strongly believe that Parliament is an essential service.